this day Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus so on into sorry plus n into 3 power n equals to 2n minus 1 into 3 power n plus 1 plus 3 by 4 for all n belongs to natural numbers solution we are given given a statement right let the given statement be p of n then p of n such that 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square, plus 3 into 3 cube, plus so on, plus n into 3 power n equals to 2n minus 1 into 3 power n plus 1, plus 3 by 4. Okay, so you are having first term, second term, third term, so on, and the term in LHS, right? In the LHS you are having sum of n terms, right? Fine. So, firstly, we will prove for P of 1. That is, we will say that, we will show that the statement is true for n equals to 1. If needed, you can show that the statement is true for n equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on, right? And we will assume that the statement is true for n equals to k. And finally, we will prove that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. When n equals to 1, we'll take only the first term from LHS. Okay. When n equals to term, we'll take only the first term. When n equals to 2, we'll take the sum of first two terms. That is 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square. Like that, for n equals to 3, we'll take the sum of first three terms. 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube. Like that. Okay. Fine. So here we are given Tn. We are having Tn equals to n into 3 power n. When n equals to 1, when n equals to 1, we will get 1 into 3 power 1 which is equals to 1 into 3 which is our first term. Right? When n equals to 2, substitute n equals to 2 in the nth term you will get 2 into 3 square right this is a second one like that for n equals to 3 we will get the third term 3 into 3 cube okay 3 into 3 cube okay fine now let's prove that the statement is true for n equals to 1 when n equals to 1 LHS we will take only the first term 1 into 3 which is equals to 3. Now coming to RHS we will simply substitute n equals to 1. Then we will get 2 into 1 minus 1 into 3 power 1 plus 1 plus 3 by 4 which is equals to 2 minus 1 into 3 power 1 plus 1 is 3 square plus 3 by 4 which is equals to 2 minus 1 1 into 3 square is 9 plus 3 by 4. 9 plus 3 is 12 by 4. 4 ones are 4 threes are. So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore LHS is equals to RHS. From this we can say that the statement that is P of N is true for N equals to 1. That is, P of 1 is true. Okay. You can also check for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, we have to take the first two terms, right? 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square, which is equals to 1, 3, 3 plus 2 into 3 square 9 equals to 3 plus 2 nines are 18. 
3 plus 18 is 21. Now coming to RHS, we'll substitute n equals to 2. 2 into 2 minus 1 into 3 power 2 plus 1 plus 3 by 4, which is equals to 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3 into 3 power 2 plus 1, 3 plus 3 by 4, which is equals to 3 into 3 cube, 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is 27, plus 3 by 4, which is equals to, take 3 common from these two terms, we will get 3 into 27, plus 1 by 4, 27 plus 1 is 28, so we will get 3 into 28 by 4, okay. 4 sevens are 28. So this equals to 3 sevens are 21. Right? So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that the statement is true for n equals to 1. That is P of n is true for n equals to 2, not 1. Okay? We have already proved for n equals to 1, right? So this is for n equals to 2. And the four P of two is true. Okay, fine. Now we'll assume that the statement that is a given statement is true for some n equals to k or for some k belongs to natural numbers. I can say assume that. The statement is true for some k belongs to natural numbers. That is, assume that the statement that is P of n, right? The statement is true for some k belongs to n. Then P of K such that 1 into 3 plus 3 into 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus so on plus K into 3 power K equals to 2K minus 1 into 3 power K plus 1 plus 3 by 4. Okay. For K terms. Okay. Now, we will prove for n equals to k plus 1. That is, we will take k plus 1 terms from the LHS. Now, 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus 1 plus k into 3 power k plus k plus 1 term. k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1. This equals to, we know that 1 into 3 plus so on plus k into 3 power k is 2k minus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. Since p of k is true, so that we are taking this. Okay? Plus k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1. So now, this is equals to 2k minus 1 into 3k, 3 power k plus 1 plus 3 plus, we'll simply take LCM plus 4 into k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1. Okay. Now we can take 3 power k plus 1 common. From these two terms, this equals to 3 power k plus 1 of 2k minus 1 plus 4 times k plus 1 plus 3 by 
4. This is equals to 3 power k plus 1 into 2k minus 1 plus 4 into k, 4k plus 4 into 1, 4 plus 3 by 4. This equals to 3 power k plus 1 into 2k plus 4k is 6k plus 4 minus 1 is plus 3 plus 3 by 4. This equals to 3 power k plus 1 into so, you have 3 common from in these two terms, right? So, we'll take 3 common from these two terms. So, into 3 into 3 twos are 6 into k 6k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. 3 twos are 6 into k 6k plus 3 ones are 3. So, this equals to, you can also write it as 3 power k plus 1 into 3 power k can be written as 3 power k plus 1 plus 1. Okay. a power m into a power n equals to a power m plus n. Powers must be added into 2k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. This is equals to 3 power k plus 1 plus 1 is plus 2 into 2k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. Also you can write it as 2k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 2 plus 3 by 4. So, you need to get RHS in terms of k plus 1. That is for n equals to k plus 1. Here you are having 2k plus 1, right? 2k plus 1. We need to write this k in terms of k plus 1. Then what we will do? Just replace k by k plus 1. Okay? 2k plus 1 is 2k plus 2. But here you are having plus 1, right? So, if you subtract 1 to this 2, you will get plus 1. Okay? So, okay? Now, you can replace 2k plus 1 by 2 times k plus 1 minus 1. Since 2k plus 1 equals 2. Okay. Now we will replace 2k plus 1 by 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 power. Here also you are having k plus 2. k plus 2. We need to write this. k in terms of k plus 1. So for that purpose we will split this 2 as 1 plus 1. Then you can write it as k plus 1 plus 1, right? So, you will get 3 power k plus 1 plus 1, see? For n equals to k plus 1, okay? Plus 3 by 4. I will write clearly 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 by 4 which is our RHSC. For n equals to k plus 1, 2 into n minus 1 into 3 power n plus 1 plus 3 by 4 right which is our RHS. So therefore, Therefore, 
1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus so on plus k into 3 power k plus k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 is equals to 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 pi 4. So this shows that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, p of k plus 1 such that 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus so on plus k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 equals to 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 by 4 is true. Therefore, P of K plus 1 is true. Therefore, P of N is true for N equals to K plus 1. Therefore, P of K plus 1 is true. Okay. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Therefore, By the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement is true. For all, n belongs to natural numbers. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.